Hey guys, so today I'm bringing to you another cash type of video. What I mean by casual is it? it's like laid back, not really much to it, really easy. I know I have done videos like that I feel like all week long. Like on Wednesday I did the gym makeup tutorial but uh, all week long I've kind of been really busy working on like an Instagram collab it's gonna be up on Sunday if you're interested also I'll put up a video here on Sunday because I love my YouTube friends I love you guys you guys are my world I love you guys my first friends ever were you guys that's kind of what's been going on so next week it's gonna be videos like normal first impressions reviews tutorials all that kind of stuff so if you have a request comment down below and tell me what you guys want to see so today we're going to be talking about my everyday makeup drawer slash basket so um, a couple of youtubers do this um, in different ways some do this monthly some don't um, I don't know if I'm gonna do these monthly, but if you like the everyday makeup drawer kind of idea, not that it's my idea, a lot of YouTubers do it, but if you like that type of video, give me a thumbs up and I'll know and I'll do more of these. Um, I haven't done one for a while because I wasn't sure if you guys like these type of videos, but just let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Okay, so. I do my everyday makeup drawer a little bit different. I don't just keep essentials or things that I'm using every day. I also keep things that I want to be using every day, whether it be products from my collection that I haven't used for a while, that I'm kind of rotating in, or new products like hauled products, um, new purchase PR, things like that that I want to make an effort to use. I put in the store so I can go through it and use them um, and try them out. You know, preparing for reviews or videos or tutorials, whatever it may be. So, um, I have quite a bit of things in here. This is a big drawer and I keep like everything stacked on here. If it's not stacked on my little bench there, it's stacked here. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I think that that's it. So, I'm excited to share with you what I've been using every day. And uh, if you're excited too, then just keep on watching. Okay, so here is my makeup, everyday makeup drawer, and I know it looks like a great big mess, but I don't really have foundations in here. Oh, I have something on my hand. I don't really have foundations in here. I keep them over there, um, up on my little bench there, and I'll show you those in a second. I just like to keep those upright, but I have quite a bit of things, so I'm going to try to go through them kind of quickly. So first off, this is just... This is just um, a spray bottle. This is how I do my soap brows. And along with that, of course, my pears, my pears soap. I've shown you guys this before in a little tiny mini tutorial. I also recently got these two setting sprays from Milani. The Make It Dewy is rather new and I got that one along with the Make It Last and I absolutely love these. I actually really like these as a hydrating primer. Um, like before I do my makeup. It does a good job of making things dewy too um, and just making something that looks cakey and matte not look so cakey and matte I guess you can say. So I really like these two. They're one of my favorites. This here is a, um, this is the Rodin Fields Enhancement Lash Boost, and uh, I just got this from a friend. She recommended this to me and wanted me to try it out, and I think I'm going to do a video for you guys, like a before and after, seeing if this really works, if this really elongates and boosts your lashes. Um, so I haven't opened that yet. I haven't tried that one out yet. Uh, I'm in love with these lashes. These are the Ritzy lashes from Kiss. They're the 100% natural hair ones. And these are gorgeous. These are what I've been using for tutorials and I'm loving these. I love how they get short and then get longer. And they're super like feathery and just really perky and I really like them. So they're one of my favorites. I'm gonna go get a bunch of backups of this because I think this is like my favorite lash ever right now. Then of course the big shot Colossal Big Shot, my favorite mascara of all time at the moment. Like, I'm loving this so much. I have small lashes, so this just it works wonders um, for my lashes. 
this is something that's semi new. This is the uh, the Hard Candy Coconut Water Cooling Primer Stick. I've been trying this out, um, and so far I'm actually really, really loving it. It's really cooling on the face, and I have dry skin, and it is very hydrating. It has an interesting texture, but it does remain tacky, so I feel like it also elongates the wear time of your foundation, and it smells really good, like coconut water. Like That's exactly how it smells, so I'm loving that right now. This is new as well. Um, this is one of the Milani strobe light um, illuminators, and this one's in Day Glow, and I love it. It is a beautiful golden color, absolutely beautiful, and it, I know it may look a little dark, but it actually works perfect as a highlight. Like, look at that. Like, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Like, it's so beautiful. I'm so glad that I got this because it's amazing. Then of course, I can't not have my Wet n Wild pressed powder in here. I use this every single day. I have mine in warm beige. I used it today. It's such a lightweight powder, like so beautiful, especially if you have dry skin or if your foundation tends to look cakey. This just makes it look good. It doesn't mattify. It gives it a natural finish, I feel like, and lets it lets the natural um, finish of your foundation kind of come through. Like if you have a luminous foundation, it lets it come through. So I love this powder so much. This is an all time favorite. It's the Wet n Wild Contour Palette um, in Dulce de Leche. I haven't used it in a long time, so I've obviously hit pan and I kind of brought it out to kind of start using it again because I haven't used it so long. This is such a soft, both sides are so, so soft. Like the softest, contour I have ever felt in my whole life like they're so soft both sides are just really really nice warm contour that just it's not too warm I feel like it's more on the neutral like it looks warm but it's not as warm as other like bronzers like for example in here I also have where to go right here so this is the Be A Bombshell Bronzer by Beach Cosmetics. It's called Diva, one of my favorites. They took it off the website. I don't know why they got a new, some new bronzers, but this one's really, really warm, I feel like, compared to that one. I'll kind of put them next to each other. So can you kind of see the difference now? This one's more neutral, this one's more warm. And um, I love this. Very, very soft and beautiful, and it just, it's one of my favorite, and I brought it out again to use it. I'm in love with it again. You can see how warm it is, but it looks really good on the cheeks. This is what I use today to contour and bronze up the cheek area. I have this random, it, I got it in an Ipsy a long time ago. It's the Cool Way Stronghold Hairspray, and I just popped it in here to try to use it because I got it to sample it, and I never tried it. So, I don't know, just a regular hairspray. Of course, I got some new eyelash curlers. These are the Revlon ones, and I love these so much better than the e.l.f. ones. I went to get the e.l.f. one, but then they were ran out of those. They were out of stock, and so I picked up this one in desperate measure, and I love this one so much better. It fits my eyes so much better. Like, I can't believe it. It curls. I feel like the e.l.f. one is better for smaller eyes because it's just smaller like this way. This one is wider this way so that it curls like from the beginning all the way to the end of the lashes. So I really like this one. It's good curling. Eye curl eyelash curler. Of course, I think I, you guys have seen this last time. It's the e.l.f. lip scrub. Minty one. I love it. I have it in here. Great gift. Um, must have for anyone, whether you like makeup or not. Then I have um, the Wet n Wild Makeup Stick Blush. So I put this away and this one's in Floral Majority and then I took it back out because if you saw my last, vi last video, um, I'm loving this on my lips. Like it gives me like a almost powdery but beautiful flush on the lips that I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it and it looks so good. Like I love it and I use it like every single day. So I love that. Today I'm using this one, the Dulce of Colors um, 
matte liquid lipstick. This one is in Bear With Me and I love it. It's what I'm using today and I've actually been liking putting it on and then using my finger to blend it out so it kind of looks almost like sheared out like a sheer wash like there's no structure to the lips I've really been liking that look so that's kind of what I have on today on my lips <sighs> all right so I have a bunch of these wet n wild mega cushion um, these ones are two correct two of the corrective ones this one's for dark under eye circles it's supposed to be more peachy this one is for neutralizing yellow I have a lot of yellow around my eyes um, and I really like how these are working they're really really pigmented they're very unique I feel like a lot of cushion correctors they're not as pigmented as these so they're really nice and this one's really nice for like sheer like it it helps with the dark under eye circles but it still like looks very natural like your skin still shows shines through this is good for like teens mommies things like that so I really like this uh, this particular concealer it's nice this is also new. This is the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. I went like on a Hard Candy little shopping spree. Um, I've used this a couple times and I really like it. It's definitely like makes your makeup stick to your face, which is good. Um, but it doesn't. It does have that hairspray kind of smell to it, but it doesn't bother me because it goes away. But it works really nice, and I do love the the sprayer on this. It works really well. Also, I took out the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. I've been using it like almost every day. I used it a little bit today. I put like this color on the lid, mixed with a little bit of this one. And Along with that, I got this from Hard Candy as well. It's the Look Pro Matte Palette. I've talked about it a little bit and I've shown it on my Instagram for sure. I love this palette. This palette is amazing. For the price, it's a Hard Candy palette. They're all matte. They're really soft, really pigmented, like I have to be careful when I dip my brush into these because they're really pigmented and they feel so, so soft. Like I love them. I love them so much and so I've really been using them every single day. Every single, every single, every single day. I mean, for being matte, that is really, really, really good. So I am just... <sighs> You're probably gonna get sick of me using this because I love all the neutrals, I love the purples, I love the light colors. Like the light co colors look amazing, like look at that. So I just, I love this palette so much. I always have it on hand with me. I also took out the Moonchild, Anastasia Moonchild palette again because I wanted to start using it again. Um, today on my face I'm using the Pink Heart one, but it's really gorgeous palette, super smooth, it's just really pigmented. Um, you can see kind of like the pink one, like it's really gorgeous. I love the purple one, I love all of these, they just look so good. I love the blue one. Like, they just look so amazing and they're super pigmented. One of my favorites. I think out of all the people that, or all the companies that do holographic type of highlights, this one, it just beats them all. Like, I love how smooth it is. You don't need to go ham on the, on the product. It just comes off so easy. So I have to have this in there. I probably had this in my last one. This one does not leave my everyday makeup drawer. It doesn't. It's my favorite. I have extras of this. This only costs a dollar from the Dollar Tree. It's the blush, LA Color Blush in Spice. I'm using this today on my cheeks. I'm obsessed. I love it, love it, love it. My favorite, 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 favorite blush of all time. Whether I have brown or blonde hair, sometimes I feel like my blushes, my the favorite blushes kind of change as my hair color changes, but this one is so gorge. I can't even tell you guys. It is amazing. It's not flat matte. It has a beautiful sheen to it, but it's not shimmery. It looks beautiful on the skin. I love these little blushes. They're great. Sorry that my phone keeps on going off, guys. I also have this. This is an extra one of those brushes that came with the Dermacol foundation. I have, I got an extra one because I love that brush so much for concealer. Then I have the NYX 
um, gel eyeliner in brown. My favorite to put in the tight line. I do it every single day. I love smudging it on the top lash line. Uh, it's just such a great eyeliner and brown is so gorgeous, especially on brown eyes. Like if you have honey eyes and you put a dark brown on, then it just makes the your eyes look lighter and brings out the honey more, I feel like. Then I still have a bunch of these little Glacier facial samples that I've had forever. I need to just use those. Laura Geller Baked Blush in Tropical Hues. I also brought this out to start using it again because it's been a while. And it's such a beautiful color that if you don't know what to wear, this is just a really beautiful one. And because it's baked, it's not flat matte. It just has a beautiful sheen to it. But the Flower Beauty Eyebrow Pencil. I love this eyebrow pencil so much. Um... I wish it was skinnier, but still not being skinny. I love it, and I absolutely love the spoolie. It's like the perfect spoolie ever, so I love this, so I have it in here. Also, I have the Micro Brow, NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This one is in Brunette. Um, uh, I love this one too, and I have to have it in it. It's what I use today on my brows. Oh, here's another... Wet n Wild Mega Cushion. This one's the highlighter. I feel like I don't use this one a lot enough, so I'm trying to get some use out of it. Um, you never know how long these will last. This one's the Who's the Who's That Pearl. Oh, I have even another one. Okay, so this one's a Cushion Contour. I don't know how I feel like about, th about this. I feel like this breaks me out. I mean, I love it as a contour. This is Cafe Osley. But I think it's breaking me out, so I'm kind of giving that one a rest, but I still have it in here. Then, of course, the e.l.f. Oliver Cover Stick and Spice. It's my favorite concealer at the moment. Um, I've just been using it kind of every day or for the gym. If you guys saw that video, you saw me use that one. The Wet n Wild Cover All Primer I haven't used in a long time, so I brought it out again to try to use up. It has that white texture whoa I just wasted a bunch on my hand but it's like that white texture really milky and nice and it reminds me a lot of the um, reminds me a lot of the the NYX Angel Veil I have the wet n wild contour stick um, I brought this back out I put it away this one's in wall where's my walnut I put it away then because I, I kind of wasn't a fan of it then I brought it back out to use with my pure Dior argan oil like I put the argan oil on my brush and then I blend it out like that and I really am loving it it's making it easier it's smooth it makes it really really beautiful and I love this contour shade again it's a neutral beautiful contour and um, I love it so really glad I started to do that with it. I have one of my favorite tweezers. These are so sharp, so nice for lashes or for just tweezing your eyebrows. I got these from Sally's. I got the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, a little travel size to try it out. It's not my favorite. Um, I feel like it doesn't lengthen at all, but it does a good job with um, volumizing without making them clumpy. Of course, I got my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe Lash Glue. And I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Natural. I started using this again, and I love it so much. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, my Super Stay Better Skin Concealer. This one is in Light Medium, and I love this baby. I need to go get some more because I'm, like, running out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you did, to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, don't forget to hit my little face down there to subscribe and hit the bell to notify you of all of my future videos. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do for me and for your support, be it here on YouTube or Instagram or whatever. Keep a lookout for that collab because it's going to be awesome. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.